Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to put whole numbers into word form. Now when it comes to word form, we're going to write these numbers out in words, hence the name word form. So we need to think about how we would say these numbers, and that's exactly what we write. So we have three examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now at the top of your screen, I have a very uh, important hint. Think, first name, last name. And I'll explain what that means as we go through our examples. I also have a place value chart that we're going to use for number one. So a place value chart will come in handy when you're first starting out with word form or if you're struggling. But your ultimate goal is to be able to do word form without a place value chart. So let's jump into number one where we have this number here. And I'm going to write it in our place value chart to help us see how we say these numbers properly and therefore write them out and have the correct word form. So we have five, seven, six, comma, nine, zero, one. Now, before I write that in word form, I do wanna mention that the sections on the top of that place value chart, so the ones, thousands, millions, billions, those go on forever, but uh, in this video, we're only going up to the billions. Now, those sections separated by commas are called periods, and it's very important to know your periods when it comes to word form and just numbers in general. So let's talk about first name, last name. And we want to take a look at this section here and read that number as is. That's going to be our first name. So 576. First name, 576. Now, last name, we take a look at what period that number is sitting in and that's going to be the last name. So 576,000. And then we move on to this here. So 901 would be the first name there. Read the number as is. And when it comes to the ones period, we actually don't use a last name. It's just the number as is. Every other period though, we go first name, last name, except for the ones. So we would wrap this up with 901. So we would read number one in full as 576,901. Just remember, go period by period thinking first name, last name. All right, so on to number two where we start with this section here. So think first name, last name, read it as is. And we have a 63. Now last name is the period in which that 63 is sitting and it's sitting in the millions. So 63 million, comma. Now we move to the next section or period, read the number as is. And we have an 85 there, 85. I'll need to come to the next line. And we're sitting in the thousands period, so 85,000, comma. And we're over to the ones period. And remember, for the ones period, we just read the number as is. There's no last name. So we end with four. So we have 63 million. 85,004. And lastly, number three, we'll start with this two. So we read as is, and we have a two there. And it's sitting in the billions period. So two billion, comma. We read this as is, so 752. 752 would be the first name. 52. Last name, it's sitting in the millions period, so 752 million, comma. Read this number as is. We have 80, and it's sitting in 
um, in the thousands period, so 80,000. And we end with all zeros in the ones period. So we're done with the word form as we have it written out now. So 2,752,080,000. So there you have it. There's how you write whole numbers in word form. Think first name, last name. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.